Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to AssignedAthletics.com. As we do every year, we get you ready for championship week. And first up is the 2015 Swimming Championships held at Gettysburg College this year. I'm joined with Coach Mark Feinberg. We'll preview the men's and women's three-day event, which starts on Friday at Gettysburg. You find all the links, live video, and live results on our website or AssignedAthletics.com. And Mark, let's start with the, the women. Obviously, the women going in as defending champion. Right. And going into the championship, does being defending champion put any Less pressure or any more pressure on you guys? Um, not really any pressure. Um, we, we like to have fun. Okay. Um, we, we, we talk about it all year that Champs is a party. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a reward for all the hard work that we do all year. Uh, swimming fast is a, is a nice reward. Um, yes, we, we want to go there and do well. Um, but I think if you look at our team, uh, we're the ones dancing around on, on, uh, on the deck and, and really having a good time with it. Um, and it usually it usually relaxes us and helps us to swim faster. So we don't really feel any extra pressure now. Yeah, we'll talk about the regular season. Of course, you went undefeated last year, went undefeated again, has now won 27 meets in a row. What does it mean to win that many meets in a row? Um, we look at our dual meets as dress rehearsals for uh, for our our conference championship, and uh, it means we're rehearsing really well. Um, the, the the thing that that we really uh, are humbled by is, is that we've been able to win that many meets in a row against a conference that's so packed like the Centennial, Con the Centennial Conference. Um, the teams that we have to swim against every week are, are a huge challenge. So it's, uh, it really says something about these girls that, that they come and they're, they're ready to race uh, on the weekends, even you know if the training isn't really uh, Peaking you for those performances, they're 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 there, they're ready to race every week. Of course, with three days of events, you have the, the trials in the morning, and the finals in the evening. Um, what are some of the races to watch out for? Who should we keep an eye on this weekend for the women? Um, I, definitely the relays. Um, we're all, all five of our relays are strong. Um, we're hoping to make some some national cuts, and we were just shy of missing nationals last year. Um, so we're hoping to do that again, or we're hoping to get there this year. Um, I think. Uh, FNM uh, and Gettysburg each had uh, a girl uh, set a conference record this year in an individual event, and you know we think um, they had fantastic races with our girls uh, when the, we had the dual meet. So we're hoping our girls can stay with them and help them help push them to good times as well. Um, so they're going to be uh, good. Our sprint freestyle is very strong. Uh, and butterflies just uh, packed through through the conference, so it should be fun. We talked about those relays, and when it comes to the relays, obviously last year it came down to the final relay, and you guys won the B relay. Maybe for those who do understand, how important is it to have a strong relay in those B races for the oh, it's, it, it's a great question. The um, the conference, the way we do it, since there's eight teams in the conference, we have the eight B relays swim in the consolation finals and the eight A relays swim in, in finals. And uh, really there's no difference at all because Every team's entered in, in both heats, um, and those teams become equally important. Um, the B relay uh, really was heroic for us last year, but that's all for nothing if the A relay doesn't win mm -hmm. as well. Um, so it's uh, it, it, it's vital that, that both of those relays are strong. Uh, it's vital that all eight of the, the people, four for the A relay, four for the B relay, uh, are all in tune and, and and swimming fast. Okay, let's talk to them. Talk about the men's team. Uh, how did the season go for the men overall? Season went very well. Um, I really like what happened to our uh, our team as the season went on. Um, they really started to gel toward the end of that first semester, and uh, we went to the Westchester Invitational, swam pretty well there. And while we were there, they really seemed something clicked. Uh, we came back and we swam Swarthmore uh, that night, and and had a a, a really good meet and, and we really took that momentum into our Florida training trip and, and the second semester. So uh, the guys are, are as, as much of a team as I've seen. Well, after finishing third last year in the standings, what can they improve on or need to improve on to move up in the standings? This um, we, we left a lot of points in the pool last year. Uh, and, I, and I think uh, I, I think we just take care of, uh, of what we can control. Mm -hmm. and, and I think they're going to be better this year. Um, they. The way it goes in this conference, if you're not better, you're worse. You, you have to continue to improve, and uh, you know our guys have to do that too. We have to uh, swim better. All four classes have to have to improve times, and 
Uh, if they do that, they're going to like the results. What are some of the races on the men's side to watch out for and who we need to keep an eye on? Uh, I mean, I think the uh, uh, butterfly, again, is going to be uh, really exciting. Uh, the distance freestyle is going to be really exciting. Um, you know, a, a couple of our, our team leaders have, have put in some seasons that, that I haven't seen, you know, in, in the pool for, for a while now. Um, so I, I think you're going to see some big time drops. I think you're going to see um, some real competitive races. Let's talk about the improvement of both teams. Obviously, since you got here, I remember there used to be a on this wall over here, you can't see it off camera, but there was a timeline on uh, what the team, when you first came right. here, they didn't score, or the women didn't score the championships. Now you had the women winning it last year, the men finishing third. Just talk about the overall improvement of the team since you've been here. Um, I, you know, I think it started with uh, the, the buy-in from the school and the athletic administration and the support that we get. Um, it really has made my job easy. Um, they, they turned this position into full-time. Um, now we have uh, two full-time coaches, a head coach and an assistant coach, both full-time. Um, so we can uh, recruit. And then, you know, then came the numbers. We had uh, full rosters to take to our, our, our dual meets and our championship meets, and uh, that really helped. Uh, and then, you know, as the, as the numbers increased, so did the, the talent. And um, as the talent increased, they really bought into the methods that we, that we use in our, in our training. Um, and it's exciting. It kind of is like a big wheel that, that, that start that momentum going. And uh, it really all starts with the support you get from, from the school. And, and I couldn't ask for better support than we get here at our signs. We've well, got the for everybody supporting you this weekend, Mark. Good luck right. in the championships. Thank you. This is a three-day event hosted by Gettysburg. There'll be live links to results and live links to the live video from Gettysburg on our website at assignusathletics.com. Once again, thank you for joining us at Championship Week, and go Bears.